What is an acquired brain injury? ABI, Perspectives of People with Disability. ABI is an abbreviation for the term acquired brain injury. This refers to any damage that's been sustained to a person's brain after their birth. Another term that is commonly used, especially if there's a blow to the head, is traumatic brain injury or TBI. How is a person affected by ABI? There are so many ways a person is affected. So you have to understand the brain basically controls everything. Everything that can be seen and unseen. And every injury is different. So answering this question is really difficult, but there can be changes to the way a person functions, behaves, thinks, speaks, and moves. This makes brain injury uncomfortable, not only for the person who sustained it, but also for the people that surround that person. Change is something frightening to many people, and this can isolate the injured person. Friends and family can remove themselves from the person's life, which is extremely distressing for them because they may not understand why. Due to damage sustained, a person might lose the capacity they had before and require long periods of rehabilitation. This means they may not be able to work in their job, maybe ever again, like me. I used to be a dancer. <laughs> um, it's important to remember the brain heals itself in many cases, but how long this takes is impossible to predict. How does it feel to acquire a brain injury? Acquiring a brain injury is the most far-reaching thing that can happen to someone. Well, that's what I, that's what I think after, after living with this for so long. It really affects everything it means to be human. I like to see it as though I was born again, and I even celebrate the date of the, of the injury as a second birthday. It's my rebirth day. I was reborn. And like a baby, I had to learn everything all over again. I had to learn how to walk, how to talk, how I ran, swam, moved, behaved, conversed. I had to learn how to, I had to learn how to carry out a conversation again. And even though I've had a brain injury for longer than I didn't have one, I'm still developing myself. And this can be extremely frustrating for myself and those around me, but I've learned to be excited about it too. Imagine, I'm gonna be learning for the rest of my life. And one of my main mottos is onwards and upwards, and this is the way I live. What are cognitive problems? Cognitive problems are related to the way the brain and the mind work. The way a person thinks or processes information is something personal to the person. But how this is expressed, the way someone speaks or behaves is what others see. And another thing that is a cognitive problem is memory. And memory is really, really affected by an acquired brain injury. What are neuromotor problems? They're very familiar to me because this is the way someone moves and my, the way I move has been affected majorly by this accident. So it affects the way someone moves, the way they stand, the way they deal with things like writing, I had to learn to write again, or using their coordination, which is something that is very dear to me because I used to be a dancer. Used to be a dancer. <laughs> this also refers to conditions like seizures that can start after an injury. And I've had, in the past 24 years, I've had eight grand mal seizures, which are big seizures. Learn more about disability inclusion at www.daru.org.au.